Creating a DNA matrix involves three steps. First, you add a DNA kit event to every person in your genealogy database that's been tested. Second, you tell Charting Companion where the DNA match file is located. The DNA match, match file contains a series of pairs of kit numbers uh, with the total number of centimorgans shared by two people. And finally, you just create a descendant chart with the DNA matrix option chosen. This is how you enter a DNA kit number in Family Tree Maker. In the, uh, you, you just right click or double click on a person, right click in the facts section, click on add fact, choose DNA marker, and in the description enter the kit number which will depend on what service you used to do the match. This is how you add a DNA kit event in Roots Magic. Double click on a person, click on add fact, design new fact type, individual fact type, name, DNA kit, both for the name and the abbreviation, and you want to use the description field. OK. You have created the uh, DNA kit event. You only have to do this once. Then when you want to add it to an individual, you click on it, click on select, and enter the kit number in the description field. The kit number will depend on which service you use to do the matching. C click on close, and you now have a DNA kit uh, event in this person's record in Roots Magic. This is how you add a DNA kit number in Ancestry. In Ancestry, go to your tree, click on a person, click on Profile, click on Add, Add Event Type DNA Markers, and in the description, enter the kit number. The kit number will uh, vary depending on the type of person you, uh, the type of test that you did. So you enter the description, the kit number in the description, click on add, and that's it. That person now has a DNA marker. Do this for every person that's been tested, and then download your file um, from, from Ancestry in GEDCOM format. To download your family tree from Ancestry in GEDCOM format, you click on Trees, Create and Manage Trees, then you create, you, you click on, for the tree that you want to download, you click on Manage Tree, and down here you click on Export Tree. and you will be prompted for a place to, uh, to store your tree. It takes a couple of minutes. Here we go. And then you are prompted to download your GEDCOM file. Save it in a directory where you know you'll be able to find it. And that's it. And uh, you can now open the JETCOM file with Charting Companion. So here's a sample database where we have, a, uh, we, we have assigned a DNA test, a DNA kit number <clears throat> to this individual uh, using our genealogy program. So the first thing you need to do to create a DNA matrix in Charting Companion is go to the Descendant chart, go to the DNA tab, and you have to add uh, the, the, the CSV match file. So uh, you go to the directory where you have stored that information, 
and you browse, and there's the, uh, for in this example, uh, a match file. So I select that, and just to make sure that um, I've got the right format, after selecting the file, I click on View, and I can see all the columns that have been assigned. Column 1 is the uh, kit 1, columns 3, 4 is the second kit, and the centimorgans is in the seventh column. All right, that's the first step. That enables you to tell Charting Companion where your CSV match file is located. Charting Companion will automatically recognize the type of match file that you've added. In the event where it, uh, the, the, your match file is not in a format that is recognized by Charting Companion, you can assign, um, if, if Charting Companion does not recognize it properly, you can explicitly assign the file type uh, from a series of, of pre-programmed types here. You can also have a user-defined file type. If you do that, if you select user defined and click on view, you can then explicitly assign the file type. So column one is kit one. Uh, column two is the name. The only essential columns, there are three essential columns. It's kit number one, kit number two, and the actual amount of centimorgans, which is over here you have to be familiar with your file format here. That's centimorgans. And that's the bare minimum you need to, uh, for Charting Companion to recognize what kind of file you're dealing with. You can specify the other columns if applicable, uh, including uh, the chromosome number, the start, segment begin, segment end. These are optional, but nice to have. All you need is kit one, kit two, and centimorgans. Once you have declared a CSV match file and assigned all the columns to create the DNA matrix, just click on descendant chart over here. Make sure that the, your match file is selected. Make sure that you've checked Display DNA Matrix and simply click on Preview. And you can see this is a DNA matrix. The, um, the information here includes the length and centimorgans uh, th that the two people share. If you hover above it, it should show the name of the two people that are being matched. This is 70 centimeters between Prudence, uh, between uh, a woman and her sister-in-law. Here we have 2,150 centimorgans uh, shared between a brother uh, and his sister, Zachary and Mahitabel. Now, the 20% means that 20% uh, of the time, Two siblings will share 2,150. Um, this example here between Melvin Smith and Percival Smith, 1,550 centimorgans, means that 100% of the time, uh, an uncle and a nephew will share this much centimorgan. <clears throat> here you have a half-brother, Percival Smith and Conchita Smith. Percival is the half-brother to Conchita because they share a father but have different mothers. They have 1,500 centimeters in common, which is typical of a half-brother relationship 99% uh, of the time. Now, the red one here indicates that this number, 2,400, is too high for an uncle-nephew relationship. Uh, the, the number is too high and is more typical of, of siblings than an uncle and a nephew. The DNA matrix has some interesting options. Uh, one of them is you can choose to display the people with DNA test kits only. It will greatly reduce the size of the chart and make it more manageable. 
You can also use the anonymize uh, feature, which will convert everybody's name to initials. Uh, the the uh, initials are meaningful to you, but uh, it will not d betray any privacy if you display the chart in, in a in, on the internet in a public f forum. A useful feature for troubleshooting is to show the log that is created as a result of parsing these files. If you check the show log option, you will see a list here of everyone in the descendant tree and their kit number. Then you will see the name of the CSV match file that you use. And then down here, you will see a list of all the matches that have been found in that, C in that CSV file. So if something's missing, one of the things to look at is make sure you've, you've entered the, uh, the, the kit number correctly. One of the things that can go wrong is uh, you haven't specified uh, the most recent common ancestor or the MRCA. Uh, if you start with someone that's too low down the tree, they will not encompass or include people with kits or people with kits that have been matched. In that case, what happens is if you have a, if you've chosen the, the wrong person, you'll get an error that says no kits and tree match kit numbers in CSV file. So uh, you can view the log and you'll see that the people who have kits in the tree are kit six and kit seven, but at no point do kits six and seven occur as a match. Conchita Smith, who is kit six, matches with kit four, but does not match with kit seven. And conversely, Tiffany, kit seven, matches with kit one, but there's never a kit six, kit seven match. This is why you're getting that error. So the solution is to back up, go further, further up into the tree, and make sure you have the oldest common ancestor. And in that case, the, uh, the matrix will come out properly with the matches. So on page 96, 97 of the user guide or in the help file, there's a, uh, a detailed troubleshooting checklist uh, with all the things that you, if, if the DNA matrix chart is not coming out correctly, all the things you have to check. The first one is to make sure that you've displayed the DNA matrix, that you have checked the DNA matrix option at the top of the DNA tab. This is this, this option right here. Make sure this is checked. The second is make sure you've selected an ancestor that goes far back enough that to encompass everybody with kits. The third, make sure you've selected enough generations. Even if you select the most common ancestor, if you don't select enough generations, um, they won't reach the people with the kits. And the number of generations is determined by the content. It's, select, it's, a, it's selected in the contents tab. You can increase it or decrease it as you need. Um, make sure you've spelled the custom event correctly that you've added. It's got to be DNA blank KIT. Um, make sure that the kit numbers that you've entered in people's, uh, in, in people's profile, these kit numbers here. Now, in this case, we are using DNA test as an alternative, but um, you can also use DNA kit and make sure that these kit numbers, that the way you've entered them, exactly match what is in the CSV match file. Uh, make sure you've assigned the right CSV match file type. That's done here under DNA, here over the right. You can select, make sure you've got the right type selected here. Um, number seven, you've clicked an X in the select column of the DNA tab. So if you want a file to be used, click an X there under the select column and it will be selected. This feature is here to enable you to have several match files, but not, not necessarily use all of them all the time. You can uh, do tests with, and be selective with respect to which match file you use. Um, 
you've selected a CSV match file that includes the people in the tree. Um, make sure that you have selected either autosomal and or X chromosome. Because if you unselect both of those, you won't see the results. In the contents tab, make sure you've selected all descendants or omit spouses. So here in the contents tab, you can select all descendants or omit spouses. Any of the other options will cause some people to not be in the tree. So make sure you haven't done that. 